Hello, I'm Dan Jurgen, Vice Chairman of IHS and Chairman of IHS Sierra Week. I want to talk to you today about an anniversary that's coming up November 7th, 2013. It marks the 40th anniversary of a speech that Richard Nixon gave in 1973. A few weeks earlier, prices had erupted with war in the Middle East. Uh, the oil embargo had been declared. Oil supplies around the world were now disrupted. Prices were going up. Panic was building. Oil lines would be forming and gas lines would be forming. Uh, and there was a sense of chaos and fear in the world economy. And certainly for the United States, this was a huge shock because the U.S. public had been accustomed to having ample, abundant supplies. This was part of the American way of life. And here was this crisis now. And it was in the midst as well of the Watergate crisis, which was undermining the authority of the Nixon presidency. So on November 7th, Richard Nixon gave a speech, uh, Project Independence, promising in energy independence. It was modeled on a speech that John Kennedy had given in the preceding decade, of promising a man in space, a man on the moon within 10 years. Richard Nixon promised that the United States would be energy independent within seven years. In the quest, in my new book, I talk about one of Nixon's speechwriters who every time energy independence was in the speech, he crossed it out. The speech came back, it was there. He crossed it out, the speech, it, it was there. He crossed it out a third time, energy independence was still there. And then he got a phone call uh, and he was told that the old man, the president himself, wanted energy independence in the speech. Well, it was a bold uh, promise and it was one that was not kept. U.S. oil imports went from 35% of our supply, reaching a high point on a net basis of 60% by 2005. And the notion of energy independence evoked by each president uh, after him became not so much a promise of, of successful policy, but rather the kind of things that late night television comedians made fun of. But now we are on a different course. And the reason for that is twofold. One is the growth of domestic oil production, up 50% since 2008. And the other is fuel efficiency standards, which is making our automobile fleet much more efficient. So domestic supplies up, more supplies from Canada, demand and we've had demand and it's going to go down in the United States. So here we are now uh, on the 40th anniversary of the promise of uh, energy independence. Uh, whether we're going to get there or not is questionable. We'll probably still be importing oil for some time, but we'll be importing less oil, considerably less than it looked even a few years ago. And so now we are on a course where our, finally, after 40 decades, four decades, our, the picture is really changing uh, for U.S. supply. And uh, on the 40th anniversary of the speech on project independence and energy independence, does not seem, as it did on its 30th anniversary, as something that could never be attained. Energy independence may not be something we will ultimately achieve, but certainly our energy supply and at least the U.S. energy position will be much more in balance than it looked to be even a few years ago. So this change in the U.S. energy position and what it means for the rest of the world, what it means to have the U.S. being an exporter of LNG rather than an importer, what it means in terms of the flows of global oil and uh, where the Middle Eastern oil will flow in the future and how oil will flow in the hemisphere. This is going to be one of the underlying themes that's really going to tie together Sierra Week 2014.